Um, so my name is Bella Jalbari, I am 25 years old and I live in Norwich. I have a business in private personal care, I've been doing it since around 2021 and I'm hoping to hopefully expand it and make it bigger throughout 2024. So when I first started, I started with people that were disabled or weren't able to move and needed to be hoisted and I've slowly gradually moved towards cleaning and content creating and more creative sides of things which then means that this year I've started thinking how could I make it bigger and be a bit more creative so I'm going to be hopefully starting a group where females get together every single month and they do different activities like um, adult sports day, uh, dancing, um, competitions, all stuff like that to help mental health and to help the physical health but also help people find new friends and start a community. Um, this would also still be part of my business called Jail Care Home Support but it's just a little bit of a expanding from it. Um, so what made me think, so what made me think about getting into care Growing up, I was the oldest of six, so I was always the person that was basically the babysitter, the cleaner. I It was already ingrained into my soul to be someone that's going to be very helpful and keep the community intact. So as I got older, I went to other places like worked in retail, places like House of Fraser, Pandora, stuff like that. But it just wasn't for me. I very much felt like it was stopping me from being creative, stopping me from helping other people and... Overall, I just thought I could do a lot more and be my own boss and help myself as well as help other people. Now, there's a lot of bad things that come along with having your own business, but there's also a lot of good things. One of the great things is having control of your schedule and other stuff. So there's good things and there's bad things about having your own business. Obviously, the one great thing is that you have your own schedule, your own routine, um, but also you can kind of choose who you work around. So I don't work with clients that we don't have a good... Um, friendship or relationship um, whereas when you're working for someone else you usually have to be forced to work with people um, that you might not really be compatible working with which then means that you don't feel great going into work and so forth and it brings a whole lot of stuff so having my own business is very helpful in that sense um, it's also very handy because I can be in control of my wages and uh, pension schemes and everything like that um, but also that is also a negative thing because if anything like me, I am not great at maths, so that's something that I've really had to work on. My maths is mm, not good at all, um, but luckily we live in a place where Google is really handy. So we can just Google a lot of ways of how to do things to make it easier for us, um, or just to double check that you've calculated something correctly or that you're giving the correct um, hourly rate to someone for a job so that people actually pick you. One thing I definitely think is important when you have a business is that you need to um, reach out to clients and figure out how you can update and grow every year. There's no point continuously doing something and even if it is working, if you're not expanding and making it, you ho hopefully the aim of having a business or doing your own thing is to get bigger and bigger to a point where you can live comfortably and not have to work as hard. So always try to make sure that you are reaching for the sky, you know, trying a bit harder um, and making sure that you have goals that you're achieving every month or at least every year you have something so you're moving forwards and upwards.